Yo folks and welcome, in today's video we'll be talking about Princess Connect. They showed you pulls for REM, ReZero events, future banners, some free jewels we're getting and more. Let's go ahead and jump right into the ReZero banners with REM. She is a phenomenal waifu, a limited unit, quite possibly the best blue haired maid to come to anime, if not probably one of the best. And not to mention, is she worth simping for? Absolutely! PvP connoisseurs rejoice, she is definitely meta in that sense. But if you're looking for someone who is a banger for your jewel, someone that you need right now, no, unfortunately, Rem is not going to be that unit. Let's talk about why. Her union burst right here is going to be attacking all enemies, but just know it's within a certain range. So people within the range will get more damage dealt to them. People outside of the range will get less damage dealt to them, but still be hit. Not to mention her skill one is going to be a freeze, which is going to be pretty nice, but it's only one enemy. And then there's also going to be her heal ability right here as well. And then her EX skill is going to be boosting the physical attacks of herself. Even though she has all these capabilities, let's talk about how JP sort of feels about her. She is going to be okay in some sense. She has that freeze and recovery ability. She can incapacitate units. But like we talked about, her UB being in a limited range, and not to mention generating a single firepower is going to be a little bit difficult. Rem has her disadvantages in her own right. Like I said though, phenomenal for PvP and one of the best waifus. And she also has insane physical attack power, reaching some of the higher limits within, you know, the current roster of characters that we have. But at the end of the day, she is okay. Now, am I going to be pulling for her? Yes, I have 123,000 jewels. We'll talk about my math on how this sort of works, but let's talk about on other things and we'll do the summons a little bit later. So here's going to be the ReZero events. As you can see, we talked about the gotcha and that's going to be occurring till May 15th for Rem. As far as the events go, I believe this is going to be ending sometime May 15th. Feel free to correct me down in the comments. What's really nice about this one is we're going to be getting a free copy of Ram, which is super amazing. Not to mention we're going to be fighting Petogusu, who's going to be the Sin for Slothies. I think that's what it means in ReZeros. I did watch the ReZeros, but I am... It's been a while since I've last watched like some stuff. Event EXP player is going to be 1.5, which is really cool. Not to mention you can get some Suzume shards and Ram shards, which is nice as well during the events. Yes, it's going to be till May 14th. 2259 UTC and then the focus gotcha for Ilya which is going to be a reintroduction of the vampire stuff occurring from May 15th through May 19th which is also going to be bringing Ilya once again and then a focus gotcha for Amelia occurring from May 19th through June 1st kind of shorter on this one I would say compared to Rem but just note Rem is going to be the more viable waifu out of all the different waifus coming to ReZero in case you care about meta but for ReZero stuff I wouldn't really care about meta to be honest with you there's going to be the three star guarantee guaranteed premium gotcha which is going to be not that necessary in my opinion there's also going to be the vampire hunters with Ilya event like we talked about get some Kauri and maho shards which i think is going to be okay because Kauri and maho they have you know their unique equipment and six star versions one day will appear not to mention the game updates that'll be dropping may 19th What's really cool with this is it's going to be bringing Pekarine and Shoi into the fold, not to mention Kasumi within Area 25. So make sure to definitely farm your Kasumi shards. She's going to be absolutely nice for PvP, not to mention for future metas in the clan battles. Kasumi is definitely going to be a unit that you want. As far as other things goes, we have the unique equipment that's also going to be here right now. Ilya is going to be someone that you want to focus on with Mimi and Kyoka as well. But most likely, Ilya is going to be getting a lot of love because this will prevent her from dying, which is really important for a lot of clan battle people. In May, Tower of Luna is also going to be appearing near May 15th through May 20th, so look out for that. And it's going to be going up to floor 250, which is insane. That's a lot of floors. May Clan Battle has been announced as well, occurring from May 25th through May 30th, which is kind of long from now. Whole like May updates within like these patch notes. And we're going to be getting all sorts of double campaigns with the Grotos, the Sanctum surveys, normal quest drops, hard quest drops, and the dungeon double drop campaign. Just note, normal and hard quest double drop is not going to be occurring during the May Clan Battle 
making it a little bit difficult to plan out what to farm exactly. I don't appreciate this in my humble opinion, but at the end of the day, I understand there's a lot of double stuff occurring and maybe this is gonna be the rotation going into the future. Make sure to refresh your Sanctum surveys because unique equipment and those heart shards and stuff will be insanely important in order to get your Ilias up to snuff in order to not die within the clan battles and be sort of you know competitive in that sense. Look at this, a long list of updates that we got here. But yeah, that is going to be super amazing. Let's go ahead and talk about the ReZero events so you guys can get more familiar with what's going on here. We already talked about Rem. You can do the intimacy stuff, which is kind of cool because this will grant you some jewels in case you're running low on jewels like me because of the fact you're gonna be summoning for Rem and stuff. Don't forget to look at the event stories to get some free shards and some jewels over here as well. And then as far as the event quest goes, make sure to complete this in case you want some special teams and some guides for the hard very hard special mode you can go over here into the google spreadsheets that someone created credits goes to whoever this user is you're absolutely amazing you can see there's a breakdown on the special modes for mode one you're gonna be fighting rem and ram shadow and petal Gusu. for mode two you'll be fighting petal Gusu again mode three petal Gusu again with more mechanics and then you'll have all the different teams that you might want to take a look at. There's going to be YouTube videos on whoever did like the manual runs within two teams. And then there's the Rumi Rumis, Itsukis, Busetsus. You guys have a very JP oriented name, Kuro Yukuhime. Dang, I can't believe I'm saying this. And then there's the full auto with tact, which is really cool. I'm probably going to be running this full auto team for the special mode. And there's going to be some very hard teams in case you guys want some variety right here. So shout out to all the content creators making all these different teams you know for the youtubes and stuff we got iru's channel yappy suki and then we got amakuma nest cafe millens aki's full auto curry yukihime rimurumi and then we have dore kuns and then uru's full auto so shout outs to all of you guys absolutely amazing talked about free jewels yeah there's gonna be some free jewels that you can collect right now that is probably the highlight but most of all, let's talk about the future banners, all right? Before we do the polls and all the things, because I know some of you are wondering, is this going to be all right since you have 123,000 jewels right here? Will you be safe? If you actually take a look, this is brought to you by Restia. So here's going to be Rem right here that she's going to be pullable for. And then we also have Ilya that's going to be in the forefront as well in the future. And Mia is like we talked about. And then we have the summer characters that's going to be appearing. Note summer Susana is not that meta, but if you're a Susana stan, get ready for it. But most of all, we have summer Saren and Makoto right there. They're only a month away, I would have to say. Maybe at the end of June, we're gonna be getting summer Saren, but just know summer Saren and Makoto, these are both must pull units in my opinion. At bare minimum, you get one copy of Summer Saren. She is going to be meta forever in some regards because she has the best TP gain in the entire game. Nenika is not too far behind her. So with Summer Saren, Makoto, and Nenika all within like somewhat of a two to three month range, I'd be highly, highly frugal with the gems that you have and the way you pull for things. Not to mention after Nenika, in a couple months, we will also have New Year's Carol, which quite possibly might be the most important unit in the game coming to us just because of the fact that she's going to break the auto meta. She's going to make manual way more viable and she's going to be doing insane amounts of damage. New Year's Kokoro is a phenomenal tank as well. Not to mention Christmas Chica, if you haven't pulled for her before, she's gonna be pretty good for clan battle, but you could probably borrow the, you know, the clan battle person who already has Christmas Chica and go from there, which is gonna be kind of nice in case you don't wanna borrow Makoto. But yeah, we have Summer Saren, Makoto, Nenika, then not to mention the Yui's and Kokoro's right around the corner. Kind of dangerous, but even though we talked about, we're still going to be pulling because we got 123,000 gems. Jump in the story right here to get some jewels in case you haven't done the pullsies and whatnot. Let's do this. First draw right here. First multi for Rem. Can we be one and done? I plan to spend 20,000 jewels on this banner. I know that's almost at the halfway point, if not a little bit over in some regards in order to get Rem but that's what I can afford for now. At least that's what my brain's telling me. In case you're wondering why am I not pulling or why am I not doing this live? I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. That's why I'm not doing the lives. Let's see, can we get lucky rainbows please? That would be absolutely amazing. 
I don't want to get shafted like the way I got shafted for the Valentine Shizuru. Is it because I'm not doing it live that I'm a little bit more unlucky? There's no streamer luck that's currently occurring. Let's go ahead and try again. This Karen, please do something. Absolutely amazing. Ah, nothing. Wow, we are getting absolute bare minimum draws right here. All right, let's go ahead and jump out, reset our luck, breathe in, breathe out. We got 119,000 jewels left. We got a couple more pulls until we're like, not, we're completely out. We can't do this anymore. I saw FG's pulls. Hopefully with me seeing FG's pulls, it doesn't curse my pulls. But right now I'm feeling a little bit cursed. I just want to see at least one rainbow before I jump out of these banners because if I don't see a single rainbow, I'm going to be a little bit triggered. You know, spending 20,000 jewels, technically 23,000, not a single one to appear, a rainbow would be absolutely heartbreaking. Dang. We are low balling, low rolling, only single goals in this house right now. We are 50 deep. Yes, 50. Oh my goodness. Can we get something we're 60 deep now karen have some mercy anything we got a couple more golds than usual we take those at the end of the day okay this is gonna be the only time i get to see rem's face possibly that's, that's why i'm going so deep Twenty thousand deep okay i am doing this for rem because she is the waifu she is someone who carried me through the thick and thin during the hard anime times when I didn't even know waifus existed to that level. Rem showed the dedication, she showed her passion, her love for her husbando, that sort of moved me. And that's why I want to summon for the Rems right here. She dedicated everything just to get her husbando in a more proper mental state. And I would be in a much better mental state if I had Rem over here. Come on now, we're 80 deep now. I don't want to go anymore. But we are going, oh my goodness, it's it's so much, it's so much not to see a single rainbow at sight, it breaks your heart every single time. Rev, no, stop it, this is just so hard to watch. Are you guys crying? I'm crying, that is for sure. Oh my goodness, 100 deep now. Okay, at least one rainbow. Okay, yes! Yes, it's actually happening. Rem, please don't blue ball me. Don't do this to me. Where is the rainbow at? Can we get two? We got one. Yo, we take those. All right, the suspense is building. Rem, is this going to be you? Am I going to be this guy, the 100? Can I be him? I want to be him so bad. All right, the next one. Let me be him. Am I going to be him? No, no, I'm not him. June, you're awesome. I got absolutely killed on that. You have no idea how much disappointment that I have, not because of June, but just because of the fact that we still have to keep going. All right, we're a hundred, I should stop. Technically, that, that was a high point. Even if it wasn't, you know, Rem, it was still a high point that we could have ended at, but we're gonna keep going. All right, we're what, 110 deep now. We're not feeling good, but we're okay. We're crying, we're doing everything that we can. We're 107,000 jewels left now. I don't like this at all. Like in my head, I'm like, oh, just pity Borg, just do it. It's it's fine, it's gonna be okay. You're not that far away. Just fall into the peer pressure. But technically speaking, I'm 130 deep. I'm not halfway until I get to the 15, 150 points. All right, Karen, anything? No, nothing. We already got at least one rainbow. So in that regard, that was okay, but still, man, this is so bad. Or right, cancel. Okay, we're 104,000. Let's go ahead and do it. After this, it's going to be at the halfway mark, technically speaking, because it's going to be 150. I don't know if I'm ready to spend an- Oh! Are you kidding me? Yes, first. Am I him? Bless? Oh! No. Oh, it's Maho. I saw like the background image and I was like, no. Oh man, this is just, uh. all right, one more. This is gonna be our last pull. I think that we're 150 deep. This is so, yes, are you kidding me? Double, back to back? Rem, please, I, I love you, please, come on. Rem, I'm losing my mind over here. We got one, Rem, 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 please, please, please. I don't know what to say, please, no. <laughs> Makoto, oh man, the game, it's trying to tell me something, all right? We have three rainbows within 15 pulls. I don't know what to say about that. Let's just do it. All right. Draw 10. 160. 
Here we go. I said we're gonna be going below 100,000. That's what I said, so... Might as well be a man of my word. I don't see any rainbow paper. Oh, <gasps> no way! This is three for three! No way! This is crazy, bro. Oh, man. If this was live, what is this? Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, my gosh, dude. My heart. Why? Oh, man. Dude, why? This is so bad, dude. Why is this happening right now? This game is like, look, Rem, her smile. I am break, my mind is breaking. All right, exchange lineup. We need 300 character points. Uh, I need 90,000 jewels just to pity for Summer Makoto and Summer Saren. I know we're close. Let me think about it. If you want me to pull some more, leave it down in the comments. But anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Once we hit 35,000 subs, we're doing a giveaway. Rem, my dedication is real, but I have no idea if I should go any deeper. You guys just, like I said, let me know in the comments. See you guys and good luck on the Rem pulls.